hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and some of my fans requested me to make the photographs like that the before image was like grain and traditional photo and after image you are getting the smooth and some effects which is really creative and moody so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications i'm going to the home and this one so here is my stock image i downloaded this image from the unsplash.com press ctrl or command j for the new copy of this layer and then filter and camera filter camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version by default and if you are the user of the cs version you have to download it manually and set it up manually if you want to get the download link please check out my video description here you'll find out a small menu and go to the load settings options girl or girl 3 and load it up so you'll get the changes like that if i consider the before and after one it's like that so here before and after what i have done here let's see i made the temperature minus 8 that's why it's looking like cool color and then i didn't touch the tint here the contrast i made it 15 and highlight make it down that's why 18 minus 18 shadow increased that's why here some portion are appeared clearly that's why make the value that is 8 and the blacks i made it minus 8 the just because of here lots of blacks portion i want to make it prominent and texture the skin texture will be 39 clarity is 0 and dehaze option plus 3 what is the difference between the dehaze value plus or minus if you increase the dehaze value or minus value it will be foggy and otherwise if you take it like that it will be more darker so i made this one a moderated value which is plus 3 vibrance that is minus 11 we know these things as a mid tone and rgb blue tone curve i made the blue tone curve like that and locked up here the input value is 108 and output value 104 and green here the input value 128 and out value that is the 117 and the red as well here the input value 1 output value 11 i increased some noise reduction just because of the photo was grain i want to remove the grain that's why i use the reduce noise reduction and the color as well 34 and hard 100 for the color detail an hsl panel you are getting nothing change in a hsl panel. i didn't touch that really i didn't touch that and highlight and like shadow which is known as a split toning let's see what is the split toning highlight color and shadow color you are separating the color that means splitting the color between highlight and shadow you know in a photo you will get uh, the highlight and the shadow and the mid tone so highlight that is 125 and the saturation 15 and the shadow that is 111 and the saturation 11 so no lens correction issues here the effects i didn't touch here proscope vignetting i made it minus 15 camera calibration you are getting the red primary color minus 15 that's why it looked like like pinkish and the green primary that is 43 saturation 94 minus 94 actually blue primary minus 33 didn't touch the saturation and hit ok it will give you the output and after that i will add grain and other stuffs so i'm taking a blank layer and i made a brush for you guys i'll provide you that brush and uh, here the dust brush the name of the brush is dust brush i'll provide you like that and after that i'll pick up the white color from here and go to the brush setup options or brush options which one is perfect for you here is the brush options and if you go to the brush settings here and go to the scattering options after adding the scattering you will see you will see what is happening up there just make it scattered and count if you make the count high it will be amount high or quantity high and after that just brush over here so don't brush it too much otherwise it could be spoil your photo so after that press ctrl or command j and press ctrl or command t i'll reflect 
flip horizontally and make it bigger like that and then go to the filter and go to the blur options and the gaussian blur options like dust like uh, blur some dust are blurred and some dust are prominent and which are prominent i will make the fill color down like this so it will give you a creative look select all the layers and right press convert to smart object after making the smart object go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 so you know nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop which is uh, really cool and uh, you can make your photographs in a next level so from here i'm using the cross processing and lots of method over here which one is perfect for this photography i think this one is good and make the strength like 17 to 20 and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and provide you the final output the before one and after one and now i'll take another blank layer and pick a color from the face and make like that and make it little bit like orange type and hit ok after that take a brush and the normal brush which one is the first brush and select once press ctrl or command t and make it bigger like that and hit the tick button change the blending mode into screen and if you need you can change the opacity and other stuffs and go to the gradient options and add a gradient which is like this and hit ok and make like that the model will prominent and you should use the dether options and here as well and you can change the direction like that and hit ok so before one was like that and after one you're getting totally creative type photographs so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the photo and the preset please check out my video description until the next video i am asm signing out today bye bye